Hey, what's up and welcome back to another Movie Talk with Two Scoops. I'm your boy Two Scoops and one of the latest Netflix movies, Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. Really long name for some reason. Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams team up to create what by far is one of the strangest movies I've ever seen. And that's mostly due to the fact that these two actors come from way different backgrounds as far as movie genres. Will Ferrell is best known for movies like The Other Guys, Step Brothers, Anchorman, Kicking and Screaming, Blaze of Glory, Blaze of Glory. Um, all, and in all of those movies, he plays basically the same type of over the top slapstick comedy machine. Rachel McAdams, on the other hand, is better known for her romantic movies. Uh, she's played in movies like The Vow, The Time Traveler's Wife, About Time, um, The Notebook, and fun fact, in all of those four movies, she has played either the wife of a time-traveling husband or the wife that has some type of amnesia or something. So I don't know what's up in Hollywood with Rachel McAdams if she's getting typecasted or something, but those are very strange roles to be typecasted in. Basically, in all of those movies, Rachel plays the same type of love struck girlfriend slash wife who has some type of traumatic event happen and has to figure out how to move forward and make a serious decision decision that's gonna like affect her life moving forward. So what I'm saying is that these two actors basically have genres that they typically stick to. And that's not to say that they don't dabble in other genres. For example, Will has done more serious movies. For example, um, Everything Must Go. And then Rachel, on the other hand, has done some comedies in the past, like Mean Girls, which, fun fact, was her breakout role. That was like the movie that kind of jump-started her career. So it's not like these actors can't do other roles, but it seems that they stick to what they, I don't even want to say are best at, but they, they have found comfortable um, genres and they stick with it. Basically, Will Ferrell is known for comedy movies, slapstick type movies, and Rachel um, McAdams comes from more romantic slash drama type of movies. So with that said, I was very interested to see what these two would do when they came together, what type of chemistry they would have on camera. And there were some, but there, were also, there was also a lot left to be desired. So with that said, let's have a movie talk. So in this movie, two Icelandic singers find that their childhood dream is coming true when they receive an invitation to be a part of the Eurovision singing contest, which fun fact is a real singing competition that's in like Europe or something. So the idea of this movie was pretty interesting, but I think the execution fell kind of flat for me. And part of that is because it's for the most part, a typical Will Ferrell movie It's really silly. It has a lot of like over the top slapstick type of comedy but then on the other hand it has moments that i think are supposed to be more serious and sincere and heartfelt but the silliness makes it hard to take those moments in the movie serious and that's kind of the main problem with this movie in my opinion another issue that i had with this movie is that the fact that they're even in this competition is like purely luck like they literally find themselves in this competition because these corporate um, executives literally pull their names or their song out of a bin because they need to fill up the roster with like another group. So it's like from the start, there's nothing about this group that is actually talented or any part of their little uh, duo thing that they got going that actually makes you want to root for them because the movie explicitly tells you like these guys are, they aren't good. They just happen to, you know, get their name pulled out of a hat basically. So I don't know, for me, it's just hard to to root for characters like that when there's nothing about them that qualifies them to be in the competition or nothing that kind of redeems their character. They, they're just bad. The movie almost goes out of its way to show how bad that they are. And the crazy thing is that Rachel Adams' character isn't a bad singer. I mean, I don't think she's, she's not doing all of the singing. They mixed her voice with a, another singer's voice, so she doesn't sound too bad. 
And if I'm being completely honest, Will Ferrell doesn't sound too bad either. But the problem is he's too silly about it. His facial expressions, his body language, everything about him is just really silly. So it makes it really hard to take those moments serious, even when it doesn't sound too bad. So that's another problem that I have with this movie. And while I'm talking about Will Ferrell, what the crap was up with that wig that he was wearing? If nothing else, that wig makes it hard to take this movie serious because it, it, it clearly isn't, well, it might be his hair. I don't, I don't think it's his hair. It looks terrible. If it is his hair, it looks terrible. So I don't know what they were going for there, if it was supposed to look, you know, silly or whatever. But that's the main problem with this movie is that it wants to be serious at certain points, but there's so many elements about it that make you not take it serious. All right, so another thing that uh, this movie seems to want to be is a type of underdog type of tale. But like I said before, it's kind of hard to to consider these characters underdogs because in my opinion, an underdog is somebody who has potential and they just lack the resources or they lack the support or, you know, they just haven't completely found that strength within themselves. But once again, this movie paints the picture very vividly that as a group, they aren't good. So the whole time I'm watching the movie, I just keep thinking, why are they in this competition? They're not going to win or, you know, they they're not even going to be competing, really. They're literally just here to fill a spot that was vacant. But through sheer coincidence and plot driven elements, they actually end up doing well. And so I just felt like that moment wasn't earned. And I guess if nothing else, I don't know what this movie was going for. So that's like the biggest problem that I have with it. If it's going to be a comedy, a slapstick comedy, a typical Will Ferrell movie, then it needs to be that all the way. If it's going to be a romantic comedy, then it needs to be that all the way. If it's going to be based on like some type of real competition, some type of, uh, you know, uh, documentary type of movie, then it needs to be that. But this movie is like dabbling into too many different genres and none of them are done well so in the end you're kind of left not knowing how to feel you don't know if a moment is supposed to be taken seriously you don't know if it's supposed to be played for laughs um and also they're trying to do a what is it what type of accent is it they're trying to do a swedish accent in the movie and i don't know if if that is supposed to be taken seriously or not but it sounds bad and if i'm being honest i can't even really tell you what a swedish accent should sound like but i know it doesn't sound like what they were doing and will ferrell half of the time he would start off with the accent and by the end of his sentence it was completely gone and i'm like especially when he went off on his typical like will ferrell you know off script tangents that he does in every movie it was like out the window like i, I didn't hear it at all and then poor Rachel McAdams, you can tell that she's trying so hard to keep up with his energy and to, to play off of, you know, what he's given her. But she just seems so out of her element here. And it just makes it hard to watch. Like she, I don't know, they just, they just don't blend well for me. And maybe had I not seen her in other movies, more serious movies, I would be able to take her more serious in these like funny type of scenes. But it just comes off as a weird like combination if you ask me. All right, so in the end, I don't think that this movie was terrible. I've definitely seen worse, but I have most certainly seen better movies. So it, it kind of has this, it's somewhere in the middle. And you know, if I got to give it a score, I would give it five out of 10 scoops. That's my thing. Cause I, I think that there was potential, but once again, the movie just tried too hard to be, you know, several different genres. I felt like if it would have picked one specific genre and stuck with it and like really, made it clear what it was going for then it could have been a good movie but in the end it just became another typical will ferrell movie if you're hearing like a lot of booms and stuff is this video has been filmed on the fourth of july so they're like going crazy with the fireworks but i mean i tried to close the windows and but i'm pretty sure you're still picking it up but anyway thanks for tuning in if you like this video hit that like button subscribe i got more content coming i still gotta do my third video for the avatar the last airbender series review that's coming i gotta write the script for that but anyway once again appreciate you if you're watching this video stick around because this channel is about to blow up you want to be a part of that